so hello guys so uh, in this video i am going to be discussing the solution to the problem binary coloring which happened which was there in the code process round 948 so in this problem basically they have given us a value x so okay wait okay they have given us a value x what they what they have asked us to find is we have to find a integer array a0 a1 a2 a3 till a n minus 1 where n is the size of the array that we have to size of the array that we have to form this are the and the array that we have to form should be such that each of the elements of the array should be either minus 1 0 or 1 that is each element ai should either be any of this or and another condition is that the summation of the values the summation of the values under this condition Uh, summation of the values from i is equal to zero till i is equal to n minus one under this condition should be equal to the x that they have given us in the problem. So, what are the so let's let's discuss the problem again. So they will give us a value x. We have to find an integer array uh, where n is the size of the array and each element of the array can either be minus one, zero, or one. And another constraint is that. the sum of the elements of the array under this equation uh, should be equal to the x that they have provided us and there is another condition as well another constraint as well that they have provided us in the problem no 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 two non zero values can be adjacent so only zero values can be adjacent no two non zero values like 1 1 minus 1 uh, 1 1 Minus one, minus one, minus one. These are not pos. These are uh, not uh, allowed according to the, the problem. Uh, two zero zero can be adjacent to each other, but two non-zero values cannot be adjacent to each other. So these are the uh, constraints they have given us. Okay. So how can we solve this problem? So. if this particular constraint was not there they could have just written the the binary representation of the uh, the value the va x that they have given us so suppose the uh, in the input in the input test case the, okay one value is 48 if this particular constraint was not there they could have just written uh, 0 1 1 1 the binary representation when we write the binary representation what will be the summation according to this uh, uh, this fo formula the summation according to this formula would be uh, so we have to first write ai into 2 raised to i right so ai a of 0 into 2 raised to 0 plus a of 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus a of 2 into 2 raised to 2 plus a of 3 into 2 raised to 3 what what will this value be equal to 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 which will be equal to uh, 14 right so that's that satisfied if this was this condition was not there so but since this condition is there like uh, two non zero uh, values are getting adjacent to each other so this this uh, solution will fail but how can we convert this binary representation to satisfy this particular constraint how can we do that so like uh, one approach that i came up with to solve this problem is that after uh, much brain brainstorming is that so i will write the binary representation again 0 1 1 1 i'll write that corresponding decimal values as well since this is not a set bit i will write the binary representation as 0 i will only write the the uh, sorry the decimal representation as zero i will only write the you know uh, dec decimal representation of the values that are set so this is a set bit so i will write it as 
this is set bit so i will write it as 4 this is set bit i will write it, uh, write it as uh, you know uh, 8 how did we get these values these are the uh, powers of 2 right uh, actually here it should have been 1 but since it is not a set bit i am writing it as 0 so here uh, here it is 2 raised to 2 it's 4 2 raised to 2 is 4 since it's 0 1 2 so 2 raised to 2 it's 4 if, if it's a, it would have been 0 over here i would have written a 0 over here okay okay now what what will i do so i will try to you know uh, uh, you know make these uh, non zero adjacent elements not adjacent to each other these are two non zero adjacent elements right i will try to make them not 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 adjacent to each other so what i will do in the beginning is that i will uh, subtract minus 4 from here and i will add a plus 4 to here why did i do this to make these two non-zero bits not adjacent and okay now you you may ask okay if you ask if if you do this like uh, uh, won't the total value change no the total value won't change because like my, what is it? minus four plus four it's zero so the total net change is zero and why did i uh, specifically add this uh, four to it because like there was a four over here uh, when i show you the uh, f future operations you would understand properly so what will be the the you know the, the the decimal values after this operation the decimal values would be 0 minus 2 4 uh, 0 minus 2 8 uh, minus 2 8 and 8 okay now we have right now we are seeing that there are two 8s over here uh, in a uh, binary representation there should not be two 8s so we will combine these two we will combine these two to form 16 we will combine these two form 16 okay now we have the values 0 minus 2 and 16 now we will uh, write the corresponding you know binary represent uh, binary representation for this uh, since the first bit is not set we will write, uh, write it as uh, 0 uh, there is a 2 2 is uh, 2 is 2 raised to 1 right so we will write the first bit as uh, set but it's a negative 2 so we will write it as negative 1 uh, now we will check whether uh, 2 raised to 2 is there 2 raised to 2 is the second set, uh, second bit right 2 raised to 2 there is no 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 is 4 there is no 4 inside this so we, we will write it as 0 now we will check whether 2 raised to 3 is there 2 raised to 3 is 8 uh, two for the third bit but there is no 2 raised to 3 8 in, inside this uh, decimal value so we will write it as 0 now we will check whether any 2 raised to 4 is there 2 raised to 4 is the fourth bit uh, 2 raised to 4 is 16 okay 16 is there so we will uh, write it as set bit so this is the answer we get and this is also in the intended answer that they are expecting from us okay now i will uh, write uh, i will give you another test case a much harder test case okay i don't know whether this is hard or not but i will give you this test case 27 so what i will do first i will write the binary representation for this the binary representation for 27 is 8. 16 should be there 8 should be there 24 3 okay 1 1 0 1 1 okay i guess this is the you know binary representation let me see 1 plus 2 3 plus 0 uh, 3 plus 8 11 plus uh, 16 okay okay it's correct 0 8 16 so this is the binary representation and these are the corresponding values now what will i do now in the first operation what i will do is that i will add a minus 2 to the first bit and i will add a minus a plus 2 to the second bit so after this operation the decimal values will become minus 1 4 0 8 16 i will and i will write the corresponding uh, binary representation for this the corresponding binary representation for this is so 0 1 2 3 4 okay fine so i'm going to check whether 2 raised to 0 is there 2 raised to 0 is 1 1 is there right 1 is there but it's a negative 1 so i will write it as negative 1 i will check whether 2 raised to 1 is there 2 raised to 1 is 2 2 raised to 1 
it's not there so we will write the zero i will check whether 2 raised to 2 is there 2 raised to 2 is 4 okay 4 is there so i will write it as 1 i will check whether 2 raised to 3 is there 2 raised to 3 is 8 8 is there so i will write it as 1 i will check whether 2 raised to 4 is there 2 raised to 4 is uh, 16 so it's there so i will write it as, as uh, it's uh, that over there so this is the the binary representation that we obtain after the first operation so as we can see here that this was the initial binary representation okay we removed these two adjacent values so these two are not adjacent anymore so these two are not adjacent adjacent anymore in the uh, the uh, uh, output now we will try to make these these three not adjust, adjacent so i will add uh, so what are the corresponding values for this each of these bits this will be uh, uh, minus one this will be zero this will be uh, 4 this will be 8 this will be uh, 16 right now we'll now we'll subtract uh, now we'll add, add a minus 8 to this 4 and I will add a plus 8 to this one and uh, the rest of the stuff will remain as it is so the the, the corresponding decimal values will become minus 1 0 this will become minus 4 this will become 16 this will become 16 <laughs> okay now I will write the uh, you know uh, bit representation for this. So zero one two three four boom 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 boom. I will check whether two raised to zero is there. Two raised to zero is one. One is there. It's a minus one. So I will write it as minus one over here. Uh, I will check whether two raised to one. Uh, two raised to one is there. Two raised to one is uh, two. Is two there? No. So I will write it as zero. I will check whether two raised to uh, two is there. Two raised to two is four. Four is there. It's a minus four. So I'll write it as minus one. Since two raised to two is uh, four, uh, so we write it as one. But since it's a negative four, we write it as negative one. Since two, uh, since we, we why, why did we write one over here? Since it's a binary representation, right? Since two raised to two is there, since four is present, we will write it as one. But it's a negative four, so we will write it as minus one. I will check whether two raised. Okay, and now comes the. Uh, uh, the interesting part so since two 16s are there we can't accommodate two 16s in one 16 bit right so what we will do is that we will you know uh, take the sum of this take the sum of this and convert this into 32 32 now we will check whether 2 raised to 3 is there 2 raised to 3 is 8 whether 8 is there no 8 is not there so we will leave it as 0 now we will check whether 2 raised to 4 is there 2 raised to 4 uh, is 16 right 16 is not there so we will leave it as 0 now there is uh, 32 right so to accommodate 32 we will add another bit over here now we will check whether uh, 2 raised to 5 is that 2 raised to 5 is 32 right so since 32 is there and it's positive we will write it as uh, plus 1 over here so this is the intended answer for uh, what intended answer for 27 so we got the answer for 27 as well so the initial uh, binary representation for 27 was 1 1 0 1 1 we applied the opera these these operations and we converted this into this particular answer so yeah that's basically it uh, thank you for listening to my video uh, like okay i have a request for you uh, if you have uh, if you like uh, can you comment down below whether you understood the solution or not like this will help me in making better videos in the future i don't need you to subscribe or like you can do that if you want but like uh, can you comment down below whether you understood the solution or not so i can make better videos and how how can i how can i improve making better videos in the future thank you